Well, a very good evening. Welcome to another one of my videos. Um, and this evening I'm actually on Timbercombe Hill um, with my drone, just here. And the last video I actually flew over Timbercombe Hill, but on this one I'm actually on the hill and I'm going to fly from here on Timbercombe Hill across to Lackhampton Hill, which is that big hill in front of us. So maintaining the drone in line of sight, always keeping within drone rules. Um, no more than 400 feet above the ground relative to ground, 50 metres away from people and properties. And I am more than five kilometres from Staverton Airport um, and will be throughout the course of my flight. Um, so, um, yeah, really, really blessed to live around here. I'm about 15 minutes walk from my house. Um, live on the edge of Cheltenham, so I've got the convenience of that, but also I have this on my doorstep as well. So really, really um, blessed to be able to do this. Well, I hope you've got your seatbelts on. You've had a glass of orange juice and a complimentary browse of the Daily Mail. So here we are taking off over Timbercombe Hill and I'm just going to fly it in a straight line now over to Leckhampton Hill, or fairly straight line anyway. So I'm just going to get it up to about 400 feet and just go in a straight line towards the ridge of the hill there, straight ahead. So we're just about to fly over the A345. This is uh, what we call the Sirencester Road. So um, have a guess as to where it goes. Cheltenham to Sirencester. And eventually um, you can join the A419 onto Swindon and join the M4 if you're driving to London. So Cheltenham has two ways to get to London, the A345 via Swindon, the M4, and we've got the A40 direct route via Oxford. Just coming over Lillybrook Golf Course at the moment, you can see it's uh, nicely kept, being a golf course, and just approaching the east side of Leckhampton Hill. If you're walking up here you get a really really good view of Cheltenham and um, in particular Charlton Kings you can see the whole village um, down below. So I actually found myself flying into some wind at this point, so the drone was only doing about 24 miles an hour. So I've just clipped, um, I've just clipped it slightly, otherwise it takes quite a long time. That road just down in front of us there is the A346, um, so that links the Sirencester Road with the A40 London Road. If you were to drive it, it would take about 5 to 10 minutes. Just coming up to the ridge, um, I believe this ridge is known locally as Banana Ridge and the only reason I can think for that is because of the shape and it's only actually occurred to me looking at it from the air, you don't really see that sort of curved banana shape um, from the ground looking up at the hill. I've actually only just noticed that by um, flying the drone over it so if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why it's called Banana Bridge. So 
so that hill straight ahead of us there, that's Ham Hill. Um, I plan to do a flight from Timbercombe Hill to Ham Hill, or even Ham Hill to Timbercombe Hill, um, across the valley on another one of my videos. So that hill takes you up to Axe Hill, then eventually on to Cleave Hill, which um, I don't have in the shot at the moment. Cleave Hill, of course, being the highest point in the whole of Gloucestershire. And then swinging the drone to the left there, um, we've got Charlton Kings below us, and there's Balcarra School, Beaches Playing Field. So I just cut the view there because um, as I was flying my drone actually did an emergency stop in the air. It has sensors all around it which um, if it's about to fly into something it'll actually, it'll hopefully pick up the object that's in the way and do an emergency stop. And I couldn't work out why it had done it, it was only watching the footage back I realised that a fly had actually f uh, flown in front of the drone and it actually that was enough to make it stop um, in midair. So I'm glad to see that that system works, although um, I wasn't expecting it. Just coming into view in the top left there is Dowdswell Reservoir, where I flew over in my last video. Uh, we won't be going over that today, but you just see it in the distance there. Thank you for joining me on another drone flight. It's certainly been a pleasure having you on board. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And I'm just starting out on YouTube, so I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe and you'll get further updates on more of my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.